The USS Nimitz is one of the most emblematic aircraft carriers in the history of the U.S. Navy. Commissioned in 1975, she was the first of the Nimitz class, a series of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers that redefined American sea power in force projection. However, its end seems to be approaching. In this video, we take a look at this legendary aircraft carrier, its history, its characteristics, and the reasons why it may be retired in the next few years. This nuclear-powered American aircraft carrier is also known as CVN-68. One of the U.S. Navy's 11 giant aircraft carriers, it's currently one of the most powerful warships in the world. The order was placed by Congress on March 31, 1967, for a budget of $635 million. On June 22, 1968, the kill was laid at Newport News Shipbuilding in Virginia. The ship was launched on May 13, 1972, and inaugurated by President Gerald Ford on May 3, 1975. She was launched as CVAN-68 and renamed CVN-68 in 1975. She was later nicknamed Old Salt or Uncle Chester. The Nimitz was deployed for the first time on July 7, 1976 in the Mediterranean Sea, escorted by two nuclear-powered cruisers, the South Carolina and the California. It was the first time in 10 years that the United States had sent a nuclear-powered ship to this region. In terms of propulsion, it's equipped with two A4W Westinghouse nuclear reactors, four turbines, and four propeller shafts giving it a power output of 260,000 horsepower, or 194 megawatts, and a speed of over 30 knots, rapidly exceeding 55 kilometers per hour. Its weapons include two batteries of 21 Sea Ram surface-to-air missiles and two batteries of Sea Sparrow MK-291 surface-to-air missiles. Over 330 meters long and with a displacement of more than 97 tons, the USS Nimitz is a veritable floating city, capable of accommodating up to 6,000 sailors, as well as around 100 combat aircraft. It has a crew of 3,200 sailors and 2,480 aircrew. The USS Nimitz has an impressive embarkation capacity. It can accommodate up to 90 aircraft. In practice, however, it usually carries around 77 aircraft. Its home port is Naval Air Station North Island in California's San Diego Bay. The ship is named Nimitz after Admiral Chester Nimitz, who commanded the Pacific Fleet during the Second World War. Its motto is Teamwork, a Tradition. In 2021, she will be the oldest American aircraft carrier currently in service. Along with the Carl Vinson and the Eisenhower, the Nimitz was built to succeed the Midway class. The aim of the Midway class was to build an armored attack carrier capable of withstanding multiple kamikaze hits. As for the Nimitz class, the aim was to have very imposing aircraft carriers, above all with nuclear propulsion. As an aircraft carrier, it's been designed to fulfill several main missions. It must be capable of launching and recovering aircraft, it must also be capable of combat missions, including attacking targets on land, at sea, and in the air. The USS Nimitz can also provide real critical support to land operations. Since 2019, the USS Nimitz has also had the distinction of being the world's first aircraft carrier to operationally embark stealth fighters. These missions make the USS Nimitz a key element in the United States defense strategy, as well as in the force projection of the world's most powerful military. On the night of Tuesday, May 26th to Wednesday, May 27th, 1981, the USS Nimitz suffered a serious accident. One of its aircraft, the Grumman EA-6B Prowler, crashed on the flight deck and collided with several aircraft, killing 14 crew members and injuring 49 others. But how could this happen? In fact, the aircraft carrier was operating at night off the coast of Florida. An EA-6B aircraft attempting to land drifted to the right of the cockpit axis and struck the tail of an SH-3 helicopter. It then struck three parked A-7E aircraft, a tow tractor, and three F-14 aircraft before coming to rest. An intense fire ensued. 
The three F-14 aircraft involved in the fire were each configured with an AIM-7F Sparrow missile, an AIM-9L Sidewinder missile, an AIM-54 Phoenix missile, and a quantity of 20mm target practice ammunition. The fire was then fed by a steady stream of JP-5 fuel from the punctured tank of an F-14 aircraft that had just been refueled. The fire was quickly contained, and about 30 minutes later, when the fire was thought to be out, the order was given to clear the area. Moments later, a Sparrow missile warhead exploded. It was an unexpectedly slow reaction of the explosive in the warhead. It was later discovered that the missile had detached from the launcher of an F-14 aircraft during the fire and was laying among the hot debris on the deck. The warhead explosion killed two crew members and injured seven others. The explosion rekindled the fire, and two more Sparrow warheads and a Sidewinder warhead exploded. In addition to the 14 sailors killed and 39 injured, three aircraft were destroyed and nine others damaged. The cost of repairing the material damage caused was in excess of $58 million. It will soon be 50 years since it entered service, and the U.S. military is starting to talk about retiring it. Back in 2022, the Navy confirmed plans to retire the USS Nimitz as early as 2025. However, there have been discussions about the possibility of extending the USS Nimitz service time to help the Navy maintain its fleet of aircraft carriers. It should be noted that there is strong demand for the carrier's air wing, and delays are beginning to be felt in the replacement of the Nimitz class. With regard to the USS Nimitz replacement, the US Navy plans to accept more Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers. These new generation ships are designed to outperform the Nimitz class carriers in terms of power margin, rates, and overall efficiency. The first of these new ships is the USS Gerald R. Ford, aka CVN-78. Launched in 2013, she was scheduled for delivery in 2015, but this will only happen two years later, in 2017. Its first mission will take place in 2022, embarking and marking Carrier Air Wing 8, an air wing in the U.S. Navy's second fleet area of responsibility in the Atlantic Ocean as well as the Arctic Ocean. Initially estimated at $10.5 billion, the ship ended up costing $13.3 billion. It's currently the world's largest aircraft carrier. Three other aircraft carriers in this class are currently under construction, the Kennedy, the Enterprise, and the Doris Miller. The Kennedy is scheduled for delivery in 2025, a year later than originally planned. The USS Enterprise was also affected by labor and supply chain issues. As a result, its delivery date has been pushed back by at least a year. Delivery is now scheduled for 2028. The Navy has also faced problems with the maintenance of its midlife ships. The USS George Washington, for example, came out of its overhaul process some two years later than planned. Given all these problems facing the US military, this leads us to believe that the life of the USS Nimitz could be extended. In March 2024, we finally learned that the ship's deactivation program is scheduled to begin in 2027. It's clear that the USS Nimitz has long been a symbol of the power of the American military. As the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier of its class, the USS Nimitz paved the way for future innovations in warship design. Today, even after decades of service, she continues to be a vital part of US military strategy. However, she plans to retire in a few years' time. Nevertheless, the longevity and efficiency of the USS Nimitz illustrate the importance of aircraft carriers in power projection and national defense, cementing its place in modern naval history.